Hey ZD Netters, this is Ken Hess with Virtually Speaking and today I'm going to show you a demo with Horizon with View and it's, this is the hosted evaluation that you see here on the screen and it's a Horizon 6 with View and it is a hands-on laboratory for a test drive to check out the um, virtual desktop infrastructure product but before I do that demo I'm going to switch over to speedtest.net and do a quick speed test so you know that this is fair and uh, a reasonable test to uh, to show the speed of uh, this VDI test and the first thing it's going to do of course is the ping and then it will start checking my download speed and I have AT&T Uverse and as you can see, it's uh, cranking up there to 18-ish uh, megabits per second on the download side. And as soon as it finishes there, it's 17.28 megabits per second. It will now start the upload speed. And it should come out to be about 1.5 megabits if everything goes well. And it's just about finished here. And we'll see. Okay, 1.55 megabits. Okay, 17.28 down, 1.55 up. Now let's do our test that you know that I've got a good solid uh, broadband connection here. I'm going to launch the hands-on lab. Oh, before I do though, uh, let's read this uh, instruction bit here uh, about the uh, Horizon with View hosted evaluation. Hands-on labs are the fastest and easiest way to test drive the full technical capabilities of VMware products. These evaluations are free, up and running on your browser in minutes and require no installation. So it's a great way to uh, check out a product before you, you know, you want to bring an in-house demonstration or, uh, you know, buy off on a product yourself. So you can actually uh, go in here and, and use these hands-on laboratories. I'm going to go ahead and launch this. And this is all in real time. I'm not um, doing any fancy stuff with video uh, and I'm not doing any time lapse or anything like that. This is all real time. You're seeing it as it happens, as I'm seeing it. And we're loading up the console and we're loaded. And there of course is the uh, username and password for the domain that they're using. VMware1Bang is the password. Okay, let's go in here and just look at this VMware Horizon View client. And I'll just launch this first one here. And it will connect and I need to type in the password which is VM where, sorry, fat fingered that, VMware one bang, log in, and we're authenticated. So here are choices in the uh, VMware Horizon View client. We have Cloud Pool 7, Hosted Sessions, Server as a Desktop, Troubleshoot View, Windows 8.1, and a Windows XP um, Virtual Desktop. I'm going to go ahead and launch this Windows 8.1 virtual desktop and um, it'll come up here and you can get a feel for the speed and uh, you know how it works and this is the hands-on lab that uh, VMware lets potential customers and technology people go in here and use this um, to evaluate it to see if they you know to see if you want to buy it so, and um, wherever this server is, it's actually a couple hours behind, I suppose, that specific time. And, um, you know, there shouldn't be all that much traffic on their network or mine. So uh, we should have a pretty good connection. As you saw, my speed was, what, 17.28 down and 1.55 up. So... Um, we should have a pretty clean connection. I don't have anything else running, nothing downloading, nothing inhibiting my speed in the background. And as I said, this is in real time. So we're, we're waiting for the Windows 8.1 desktop to come up. 
and it looks like it's just about ready. Looks like we can see the uh, toolbar down here. If that's the uh, desktop instead of just a screen shot, I'm not sure exactly. Oh no, it looks like that's the host system. This is the desktop back here, sorry. Still waiting for it to come up. And this is one of the things um, that I said in the the uh, little post there with this video is that if you're going to give someone a demo you want it to be absolutely the very best you can find best speed best reliability everything and I'm not saying it isn't I mean this may be the very best available uh, from VMware and you know as you can see it's it's taking you know, at least a couple of minutes here for this desktop to come up. I mean, it's kind of like booting an old uh, XT Turbo or uh, a 286 computer when people used to jokingly say, you know, you turn on the system and walk away and get a cup of coffee, and when you get back, the system's ready for you to use it. Um, it would have to be a pretty long walk to the the coffee pot, I think, for this one to come up. And this is one of the things I've been saying all along about uh, VDI is that it's the performance is lackluster at best. Now, this is over the internet, but what if you're a remote user trying to use a uh, virtual desktop? I mean, this is the kind of performance you're going to get. So, you know, I'm sure that VMware's connectivity is is uh, top notch and and you saw my speed so um, this is what we're getting here and it looks like it's just about ready seeing the welcome screen and Windows 8.1 is starting up and it looks like we now have a desktop a usable desktop it's a little smaller than I had assumed it was maybe I can make it a little bit bigger here well yeah, there we go. Oh, good. Okay, so now, as you can see, we have a host name. I'm logged in as administrator. Uh, this is the um, Ethernet adapter type, which is a standard VMware host, uh, VMware uh, uh, Ethernet adapter. My IP address. Lab status, it says not ready. I'm not sure exactly what that means, but um, I don't see anything there. Let's check out Internet Explorer. Okay, standard. Sure, let's set that as my default browser. I didn't I didn't see any others, so and it's it's not responding, so I don't know what's going on with this, but um, I guess we'll wait for it to respond. Well, while that's working, maybe we can just um, have a look over here at the different apps. Okay, I guess I'll enable the flash add-on. Okay, I'm just going to type in a URL for uh, Google. See if we can hit that. I don't know, maybe that's uh, part of the not ready thing. Maybe I don't have internet access here, which is fine. I mean, I, I guess I don't need to, to test that kind of connectivity. Let's see, what can we test? Uh, there's the store, but that's internet, so I wouldn't be able to get to that if it's not operating on the internet Let's see as you can see I'm trying to scoot this 
that's top of it. Well, maybe that's all I have. Um, I don't have a remote desktop connection that I know of. There may be one that I could use. Let's see if there's any. Uh, I guess I could connect a USB device. I don't have one. Control Alt Delete. I don't really need to do a Control Alt Delete because I'm already logged on. Oh, here we go. Here's some other stuff that we can look at. Uh, let's see. I guess we could take a look at Windows PowerShell. Do a get process. See what's running on this. There's not too much running on it. Just a few things. Still shows Explorer running, Internet Explorer. So, oops. Let's see if I have any other information I can get out of this thing. Get host. Uh, let's see. Let's do an IP config. And it does have an IP address. Let's do an NS lookup of something that we can find pretty easily. And do an NS lookup of yahoo.com. No. Okay. So I don't have internet access, but like I said, that's okay. I've, you know, I've demonstrated that I can actually use the desktop and um, I guess I just closed it. Let's try the uh, XP desktop. Okay, that one's not working. Uh, let's see. Server is a desktop. Let's see what we have here. This might take a few minutes as well. But you know, after you get the desktop up and running, it seems to respond fine, except for the uh, slight glitch we had with Internet Explorer. But um, that could be because I did something wrong. I'm not sure. We can, uh, can try and troubleshoot that in a minute. Let's see. Let's see if any of these, while this is still working here, see it's still not up yet. Um, let's see if we can do anything. Oh, this one says ready. I don't know what this particular system is. I guess it's a, it's a host for the uh, lab. Okay, maybe I can't get to that either. Okay. Um, Windows 7 TS I'm not sure what this does I'm just trying to check out the different pieces of the lab has this started yet now uh, that XP system that we clicked on is not up yet oh and that uh, Windows 7 TS Remote desktop is not working. Um, try this Windows 7 Opt, whatever that is. I don't know what these are. I'm just trying to to look around in here and see what I can find out from this demo. See if this is ready yet. It is not. Okay, that doesn't work either. Uh, how about this uh, VMware client? I'm not sure exactly what we're supposed to be seeing here, but uh, let's see if this is working yet. No, nope, still not. Still not to our XP system. It says the remote console is connecting for this uh, vSphere client. Okay, let's leave that. 
See if this is making it yet. Nope, still no XP. Um, hmm. Oh, I see. Continue. Sorry, that was my bad. As I said, I've not tried this yet, so I don't know um, exactly what's available to me and what's not. Let's see if we can log into this with VMware one bang. Oh, well, this should be interesting. Let's see, we have a system here. A database, data stores. We have a couple of data stores. How many ESX hosts do we have? Oh, okay, we have five ESX hosts. It says ESX. Perhaps they're ESXi. I'm not. I'm not really sure. We have one vCenter server and domains. Oh, yeah, we have the corp domain. I suppose that um, you could actually. I'm not sure what all uh, capability I have on these. It says I'm administrator, but I'm not sure. See if there's anything we can do with these. See if our uh, XP. Do we have XP? Uh, XP wants to restart to apply some changes. Okay. Guess we'll restart that. I'm not sure what changes it was. Maybe uh, on boot it had to discover hardware or something. I'm not really sure. Okay, not sure what we can really do in there. Our, X our XP system, is it rebooting? I rebooted it. Um, okay, it's not, I guess it's not available yet. Let's see if we can get back to this um, Windows 8.1 system. I see it's a little faster this time. I guess it kind of, uh, you know, it knew the path or it, uh, you know, had it cached now. So your your second time that you connect to it, it's it's a little, quite a bit faster. So that's good news. Let's look back at this Internet Explorer again. And let's try Google. Although we couldn't do an S lookup, um, I don't suppose this is going to work. Oh, we seem to have something wrong with our uh, network connection. No internet access. We have an IP address. I guess that's just internally. They they might not have us. Uh, connected to the internet so I guess I'll just let that go all right so there it is there's a um, desktop for you and you can see this is a full virtual machine it has a I guess about a 16 gig C drive which seems small for a Windows 8 system but um, you know, perhaps they won't need to run this a lot or install a lot of programs on it or anything. It's just a demo system. And since you don't have internet access, you can't install anything. So I guess that prevents a lot of problems. So uh, there you have it. There's the uh, Windows 8.1.
And let's go back to XP. Oh, it's not available yet. Server is a desktop. I'm not sure what this does. Ah, that was pretty nice and fast. Oh, it's a Windows Server, a 2008 R2. Please wait for the VMware Horizon View Persona Management. Maybe that means Management Console. So let's see if my assumption's correct about the caching. Oh, Windows 8.1 is not available. Oh, it's currently logging off a previous session. Okay. This one's still preparing your desktop. Come back to that. Ah, here we are. Now, this is not implemented here for the uh, network status. I guess we can't get connected to the internet on this one as well. Okay. There's a server manager for Windows 2008 Server R2. Very nice. Okay. Let's go ahead and log off this. And we'll try again. Okay, there's our Windows 8.1. You saw that was pretty fast. So maybe it only has an issue with speed on the very first connection. So that looks that looks good. That's a decent decent speed on that. How about XP? Oh, we're still having a problem with XP. I hope I didn't break it. That's not good. Not a good sign. Okay. Well, I'll let that go. So there's our Windows 8.1. And you can see it behaves just like any other desktop computer. You have OneDrive, desktop network, this PC, you can get to the hard drive, and check out the, the files at the file level, directories, and so on. So you saw PowerShell work in it. You've seen it work. I mean, it looks just like Windows 8. So uh, I would say that's a that's a pretty good test. So let's try one more time. Nope. No XP. Okay. Well. Anyway, there you are. There's VMware Hands-On Labs. You got a feel for VMware Horizon View and connecting to an 8.1 system, connecting to an XP system, and uh, having a look around. And I would say that uh, that's a pretty good test. All right. Thank you, ZDNetters. I will see you again soon. Thank you.